Hello everyone, this is Red with RedDragonLeo.com. Today is November 3rd, Thursday. And this is a red alert, a very, very special crash alert. What we're looking at is a very massive, nasty Wave 3 getting ready to fall uh, starting tomorrow. And the biggest portion of it should happen into um, next week, Monday through Friday of next week. This ties in perfectly with our, our um, let's say, November 11th. Everything that's going on uh, over the, uh, the world today, We next week, next Friday, uh, we have none other than 11, 11, 11. We recently had out last week uh, on the weekend we had the movie called margin call come out this is a signal folks by the Illuminati by the elite by the gangsters the thugs that control this market we also have a scheduled I don't know if this is real or not but it is um, scheduled I spelled that right I'm missing it scheduled okay uh, a scheduled 11 9 11 three minute shutdown of the internet um, I don't know if this is accurate or not but um, this is what's being uh, reported on the internet on various sites you can just look that up uh, three minute internet shutdown now I've been listening to a little bit of Cliff High's web bot and it's a two and a half hour interview so I'm only uh, 15 20 minutes into it I haven't had a chance to to listen to it all but he's from a technical background and he says it takes 24 hours to shut to to reboot the to reboot the uh, internet if they shut it down for three minutes so if they try to shut it down they will not be able to get it back up it is not something they can just snap their fingers and boom it's back up it's much more complicated than that um, so I don't know but um, it, it's it's looking very very bad for next week uh, everything and I mean everything is pointing to it and I'm going to give you multiple uh, reasons to short I'm going to easily say that that there is a 90 percent chance of a crash next week uh, 90% chance and 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 that is um, and I believe it will start tomorrow now I do not know for sure that it is going to be a huge big down day but what I am expecting is a possible gap up I don't know if it will gap up or not but a possible gap up maybe possibly hit this this 200 day moving average around 1273 I don't know if that's going to hit or not but after that I expect the day to end back up and close down so you know close down wherever you know it ends I, I, I don't know how deep it's going to go maybe it's um, maybe it doesn't close down big but I do expect it to close red tomorrow but I want to but I do expect a topping tail more than anything I expect the topping tail maybe it looks like this one I don't know but uh, you know, who knows what it looks like tomorrow but I do expect a topping tail as this thing peaks out and then rolls over and then next week and we might as well make this the right color folks because this is what we're looking at for next week uh, we are looking at this red and I have no idea how low we're going to go but I see this as a big big crash week uh, next week and I don't you know I really don't know I'm just drawing in numbers here but it all depends when you've got all this this crazy stuff going on with our fake print that we had of, of um, 119 on the spy exactly exactly folks not uh, you know not 119.15 no sense on it at all just 119 exactly which is rare it's the only fake print I've got over the last two years that that actually ended with double zeros basically nothing you know 119 exactly obviously we, you reverse that and you've got 911 this is something that is is scary these all these things that we're talking about add up to one 
uh, a horrible week next week. We also got from Karen Starrich, uh, astrology wise, um, you know, she has said that next week is uh, it, it's, it's going to be way worse than this week. So just to put it simply there, and you can go check out her site if you want to check that out. But uh, just on a simple technical basis, what I am seeing is that this was a wave one down. And we'll go, I don't know, let's go with purple here. What we had here was a wave one down. We are working on a wave two up right now. And we are looking at wave three down to come start Friday and carry into Monday, etc. And this is going to be one big nasty wave. Uh, and I do believe that this is the start of, um, you know, the, the crash. I mean, this is this was going to be big, folks. I mean, this one here, again, was uh, you call them intermediate wave one down. This here was intermediate wave two, and we are now starting intermediate wave three. And inside it, it's going to be broken down with the variety of uh, major waves. You can, I don't know what you can call this, label it whatever you want. It makes no difference. I'm not an Elliott Wave expert, but I'm basing this on technicals, okay? And I'm going to show you a little bit more about that in a minute. But, but simply put, you know, you could call this a major. Uh, wave one and then the one up or the two up right there is major two if it should end tomorrow and then here we're gonna have we're gonna have the start of major three and understand inside of major three you it'll probably be a five wave pattern um, so it'll go down then back up then a major three wave and then back like that just to make up a three wave so it's going to be a very nasty wave for next week and uh, I, I definitely think that we're going to take this uh, this low out. Definitely, it's going to be bye bye. Very well could happen by the end of next week. Now, looking at uh, some reasons why, um, I'm going to show you here on the ES and the SPX how they're all lining up for the perfect storm come tomorrow to start the move down. While this looks like it wants to curl back up, it is. The odds of it are extremely, extremely low. First of all, you are going straight down here. You are trying to curl back up, but you are still going straight down. This is now approaching 50, bear territory. And it's, yes, yeah, trying to hook back up, but that's just this counter trend rally. I do not believe for a second it is going to have momentum to turn and go back up and go up to 1300 or whatever. This, this mark, this is the top as far as I'm concerned. Um, and... You know, when we were down here, yeah, absolutely. We were way oversold. But look at where we're at here. We're way overbought. Way, way overbought, folks. Um, the, 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 the odds are just extremely, extremely low. There's only so much manipulation they can do. The gangsters have had their money supply cut off. That's one of the reasons we are starting to, to uh, sell off. The good guys inside the White Dragon Society, according to Ben Fulford, have already got the numbers, the codes to stop these gangsters from just printing um, or just punching in a bunch of numbers in a, in a computer and printing money uh, that's not even real. That is just fake. I mean, just punch in a number and there you got a billion dollars in your account. They've been using it to prop up this market. No more. They're going to pull the wool out and it's just going to absolutely collapse. I have no idea how low it's going to go. But there's nothing here that says this is bullish that we're going up to 1300 Nothing. This is... This whole move down here, folks, is a primary wave three, P3. We've been waiting on this since God knows how long. Seems like forever. Been watching that bullshit rally from 2009 with QE2, QE1, QE3, whatever. All this manipulation to keep pushing higher and higher and higher um, before we got to P3. We got fooled many, many times, but that's not the case now. Uh, we we are tanking. We are looking at a situation starting um, starting tomorrow. We're going to see basically a primary wave three that we're already in, a primary three, an intermediate wave three. Um, let's see, mediate, mediate, mediate. Sorry if I don't spell right. 
intermediate wave three and then you could say a major wave three is starting uh, so it's it's this one here a major wave three inside that of course you'll have your minor waves whatever these very very powerful waves three 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 uh, and then you know this would obviously be the first wave inside that so we're probably looking at a three 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 and then the very first wave down inside of that of course that would be the minor wave three so that would leave it to sometime next week you would hit a three 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 which when you hit the minor uh the minor wave three and that that's just it's just going to collapse a whole week next week i i just i can't see this thing rallying at all this thing is just going to get so brutally ugly it's unreal let's let's go over to um the other charts here and see um look at the weekly here you can see where we're at here on the weekly and you can see where we're at down here again we can write on this and, um, and let's go with blue whatever this as far as I'm concerned was your your intermediate wave one and here we have got intermediate wave two and here we have got intermediate wave three on the weekly this thing is going to next week look like this and then it's just going to just going to absolutely collapse uh, I do not know how low it's going to go if we're going to end up putting in a positive divergence if we don't if we keep on going down here then and put in a low like this then this is going to tell us that there'll be a that there's no positive divergence that means that tells you that you'll have another lower low next year after this thing rallies back up which very well could so I fully expect this to roll over and just to absolutely tank this to roll over by next week as well they may hold tomorrow up with just a just like I said a um, uh, a topping tail and close it just slightly negative I don't know how bad it's gonna get tomorrow I, I do believe that it will put in a topping tail and close down I just don't know how far it's going to go tomorrow Ben's Friday they may they might try to hold it up there is some light volume so again we might have a situation where it looks uh, similar to you know a like that maybe like that you put in your topping tail and you close a little bit down with your body right there you know I don't know but um, after that Monday I mean the rest of the week is just a straight shot down folks it all lines up with the charts and also lines up with a Greek um, default over there or, or, or uh, just basically leaving the euro that that president over there he put it out for vote uh, for the, let the people to decide and this was good <laughs> the, the shit's gonna hit the fan over the weekend folks it's what's gonna happen it, it matches up with the wave count you, you got a wave count matching up with a disaster vote that the people are gonna say hell no we're not gonna pay and uh they're going to default they're going to get off the euro they're going to default and it's it's going to cause this thing to just absolutely collapse I'm telling you do not buy into this bullish crap there's nothing to be bullish about here after tomorrow's possible gap up uh, to just finish off the last bear I fully expect this thing to just roll over and collapse so where's that going to put us it's here on the 60 minute chart uh, I'll show you that and um, okay we'll go ahead and keep the blue whatever uh, I think here in the 60 minute chart we're gonna go up a little bit more here and then and then throughout the day we're gonna roll over just like this uh, and they'll try to push this up a little bit folks they are gonna try to push this up but it's gonna roll over and you know this will be one of these numbers it's gonna roll over but this is nothing the 60 minute chart what we're looking at here the big picture here is the ES on the daily on the four hour and on the uh, two hour and the 60 minute charts uh, and the weekly they're all lining up for an absolute collapse I'm telling you if this goes up here and hits 1270 tomorrow whatever I don't care where it goes pretty much I'm gonna look to, uh, short at the in the morning uh, and hopefully they'll gap it up but you know I think they will they tend to do that a lot but um, you know it's just going to absolutely fall off the cliff uh, again and, and that's going that's going to start tomorrow start tomorrow 
and then you'll probably not get a chance to get in short on Monday. I suspect over the weekend the Greek vote will take center stage and the Greek default, whatever is going to happen over there, it's all going to be bad news and I do believe we are going to gap down Monday big time. You will not want to not get in short Friday. You, this is your this this is your warning okay this is a let's get it right here folks what I'm telling you here is a red alert red alert your last chance to get short is tomorrow everything tells me that that's why I'm giving it a 90 percent chance that they will crash next week there's just no way and let me get to the short term um, charts here go over the ES we've already seen how the 60 minute matches up with this and uh, let's look at the 30 minute you can see exactly the same scenario here with the 30 minute uh, basically we're going to go up a little bit further in the morning and then start to roll over as this finally works its way down and this starts working its way down boom etc only is this sucker is going to bottom out next week and stay at the bottom this thing is going to go down here and stay down here for for most of next week you, you well you know it's it's going to be ugly that's all i'm going to tell you it's going to be very ugly and we're just going to probably go up and just fall off a cliff it's going to be a nosebleed it's going to shock everyone everybody's going to think we're going to go higher and we might even get close to this making it close to double top but i don't think we're going to wherever we go it does not make a difference the market is ready to collapse uh, so this was probably one of the most important videos I have done in a long time so let me grab the most the, the ES to tell you exactly how this lines up with the ES unfortunately I don't know how well I can write on this with the with the uh, I've tried this before okay you see this right here I put out a video last night a little short video right here I put out a video stating that um, that I thought that they would not that they would curl this back up exactly what they've done and get this sucker over bought. and that's exactly what I think is going to happen I want you to look at the and it's, it's done it already so what we did I, I was watching this sell off I did a video at 11 o'clock last night and I was watching that sell off and I was watching this and I said this is just too low I've never seen a case where it went down sideways and dropped dropped like that I've never seen that they always boom they run it up 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 they do not go up and then roll back down that I have seen I mean I'm only looking at this last uh, several months but you know maybe it has in the past but I'm just looking and, and this what is it looks to me like that they were going to run it back up that told me this four hour chart told me this so you know you could call it an ABC move if you want as well but it's just the four hour chart was telling me that we, they were going to go up today that's why you know I remained in a long position not a small long position but I remained in it because I truly believe we were going to go up and, and break that line and we did so I'm starting to understand these charts a lot better than I ever did a year or two ago. I mean, well, even better than I did a week or two ago. So, and I've been paying more attention to the ES, and that's that's a key factor. Now, let's look at the two-hour chart and see where it matches up with this, okay? To show you how all these charts are lining up for the perfect storm. The conditions are right for an absolute collapse. Everything is pointing to this thing rolling over tomorrow and just falling like a rock here we have on the two hour chart as well it is looking like it is peaking and ready to roll over so you know I, I think it's going to dip back down here a little bit and be ready to collapse now this here will probably kind of straighten out and start to cook over a little bit by the open tomorrow by the open tomorrow then it will be ready to just tank all day uh, tomorrow and as well into Monday and with a gap down on Monday to bottom it uh, like this and like this and like this is 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 what it is lining up perfect for that now why do I think it's going to gap up Monday because I think probably the 60 minute chart on this is probably going to go negative and recycle back up while this 
two hour and four hour is still working its way up and the 60 is probably going to um, bottom a little bit that's probably what's causing us to be down a little bit right here uh, 175 I think it's a 60 that's going to it's kind of dipping and we'll go like this and then in the morning put in a negative divergence and then that'll cause it to roll over all together so let's see if that's right let's look at the 60 and and see where we're at on the 60 and and yes you see right here the uh, the, the towers here I do believe that what's going to happen is overnight we're going to kind of go down here like this and recycle back up and come back up and be like there in the black make that black and we'll you know do one of these numbers put in a, a, a one like this and this might just kind of hook like this and do one of these numbers. I don't know exactly how it's going to do it but uh, you know it's going to dip probably down a little bit recycle back up put in a nice negative divergence but it, it'll still end up popping up and you wonder well, how in the heck can it pop up well you know that's just the way they do it they do it based upon the short-term charts and you probably looked by the time we look at it tomorrow we'll look at the uh, 15 minute chart but I suspect they will stage the news on the uh, non-farm payroll reports that you know it's all staged the news is factored around the charts they use the news to move the charts where they want it to go if they want to sell off they will make the news bad if they want it to be good to get that last bear out they stage the news good so the non-farm payrolls will likely be good so that when we you know go and look at the um, 15 minute chart we'll probably see that by the time tomorrow happens well you can already see where it's at right down here you can see it's going negative oops didn't mean to do that and Let's go back here. I can't really read what's going on there. Okay. You can see down here what it's doing. It was peaked here. And it's went down. And it's going down again. I fully expect it's to keep on going down and be oversold by tomorrow morning. And be ready to hook back up. And, and, th and that's on these lines right here, obviously. On this, you probably do one of these numbers on that. But uh, as far as the lines... You know, figure they'll hook back up and, and, and be ready to give us a pop in the morning. And that will be the pop. So we can very well go down here. I don't know if we're going to go down hardly at all. It's very light volume. But it's possible we could go down here and turn and run right back up. But that's, you know, that is, uh, I, don't, I don't know how far we're going to go. But the 15-minute chart would cer certainly support that along with probably the 30-minute chart as well. And... We look at the 30 minute chart and we'll probably see the same kind of scenario. So, this makes sense. You see the 30 here going down. This will probably go down here, maybe touch zero at some point. I don't know. Recycle back up. And you wonder, well, why won't it go all the way down there? Well, there's no pressure to push it down. It, the 60 and the 4 hour and the 2 hour are, are all pointing up, they are supporting this market, keeping it from falling. They're the big, bigger brothers that are keeping the little brother from collapsing. They pick him back up when he falls down, uh, and and so you know it goes down, and it will, should recycle back up, and um, maybe you know it's I don't know where it's going to end up at, but I fully expect it to end up these shorter terms, this 30, and uh, probably I don't know if the 30 will be, but but uh, certainly the 15 and the 10 and the five. They'll probably all be pointing up by the time the market opens with the non-farm payroll reports. And, and this is just all speculation trying to figure out these charts and, uh, and, and, and watch how the patterns move and stuff like that. Uh, but, of course, that all means nothing. You know, maybe the 30 is just pointing sideways. But the 60, oops, the 60 is going to be ready to roll over. The 2-hour is going to be ready to roll over the four hour is going to be ready to roll over the daily is going to be ready to roll over the weekly is ready to roll over the monthly well I don't know about the monthly but I think it is too I haven't looked at it but I think it's still pointing down it is I know so but you know these 
these are much bigger brothers and they're gonna overrule this is this is grandpa uh, this is daddy and uh, and this is uh, you know older brother oldest brother and this is you know whatever okay you, you get the message here these are the most powerful charts and and so you know this sideways consolidation will give us a bull flag even if we drop back down to there we're still likely going to go back up I don't know where again where it's going to end on this but I, on the SPX I think about 1273 is that 200 day moving average but I don't know that I don't really care where the level is the main thing I want to focus on is getting short pretty much if if we gap up is to you know on the gap up um, pretty much very quickly look at these 15 minute chart, 10 minute chart, and 5 minute chart. Look for them for signs for them to roll over, and literally, probably within the first 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, you, you know, I, I would expect that, that to start falling. So you might get that gap up, and then you start falling, and the dip buyers will come in, start buying it, and it'll just keep on going uh, because they're all rolling over. These, this is the perfect storm, folks. The perfect storm. You have everything. You've got the ES lining up perfectly for the open tomorrow to tank it, it is lining up with all of these time frames to tank and going into this euro uh, Greek default situation along with a historic 11-11 date I don't see how this thing can possibly stay up how can it folks you've got every clue in the world telling you this you've got a government shutdown of the internet scheduled for 11 9 11 what is that folks 9 11 why you had a 119 spy fake print last week okay you've got 11 11 11 next Friday You've got the perfect wave count with a 3-3-3-1 three, 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 one starting tomorrow. By Monday, it could very well be a 3-3-3-3, three, 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 I don't know, or by Tuesday, whatever. You've got, and, and these, these are big waves, folks. These are big waves. This is, again, a primary wave 3 and an intermediate wave 3 and a major wave three and a minor wave one these are huge waves if this move doesn't take out uh i don't know how far it's going to drop how far is this um 1290 to 1215 uh or something about that what's that about 80 points if this move doesn't drop 160 points i i i'd fall over i mean it just no way 160 points that puts you at 1100 uh, you know pretty much very quickly on this wave down obviously to go down here in some waves but that's just a double in this double in that and 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 wave threes are, are commonly I think they're 1.67 percent or something like that sometimes sometimes they're 2.67 percent or something like that of the length of the wave one everything and I'm telling you everything tells me that we crash next week all of next week and we just just absolutely just fall off the cliff I don't know how far but you shut down the internet so we can't get our positions you got MF global going, going bankrupt and not let, letting their traders in uh, to, to get out of positions you've got a, a doubling the margin call now supposedly so Mike said that. I think Anna said that that they heard that uh, MF Global now is uh, asking for double margin call. Why? Well, because we're getting ready to collapse, folks. I've never been as sure about anything as I am this this right now. I'm telling you, a lot of times I've got some things wrong in the past, but I'm telling you, I never looked at the ES before in the past. I really didn't pay a lot of attention to it and try to track it and chart it. I was only charting the SPX. Or spy or whatever, and I wasn't mixing it with the the um, ES, and I only recently started looking at the four hour, two hour, and um, these and trying to, to to mix them all together to figure. I really got a better feel for it right now, 
And I'm telling you, this is a red alert, folks. I'm telling you, red alert. We're going to crash next week. I, I, I'll stand by this. 90% chance of a big, big crash. A wave three down that's just going to shock everybody. Have no idea the target. Keep your eyes out. Look for fake prints. Uh, and email them to me so I can post them sharing for everybody so we know where the bottom is. If anyone sees it, look on all charts, look on the cues, look on the spies, look on the Russell, look everywhere, folks. Look in the after hours, uh, look for them. They tend to show them. If you don't remember, if you don't think that they show them and you don't remember, then you should because uh, they showed us the fake print, that fl flash crash, the night before it happened. And... Uh, I've posted it several, several times if you haven't seen it, but uh, I don't know exactly where it's at right now. But uh, if I look around here through here, but uh, I have um, posted that numerous times. I'll reload this. I don't know if this has got it already loaded or not, but um, uh, it was, uh, it, they showed it uh, back in 2010. They showed it about midnight. They showed the print before. And I did a video about that as well. Um, trying to show it here. If I, I'm loading it in another window, in case you're wondering, I have got four windows on this on this particular uh, dun, 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 uh, on this particular computer. Four windows showing up on it, and I'm trying to load it. Well, I will show you this one this fake print here this is 885 from last year still hasn't been hit and uh, who knows if that is still a good valid print or not I don't know so that is still a possibility we also still have the Wilshire fake print as well and let's not forget that one as well and again this shows up in case you do not remember on December the 7th it showed up the date the screenshot was actually taken was uh, or somewhere around March the 8th or, or March the um, 5th or something uh, of 2010. So it's old, but the print backdated to 2000 and or to, um, to to December 7th. So something could be happening this December, folks. I don't know if we're going to see a drop like this, but this is a scary. What's about a 4,000 point drop? Well, the Wilshire, of course. Again, it's an old print. Let me see here if I can't find this print for you. Just to show you one more time in case you have forgotten that um, that this was pre-foretold to us. Or maybe you're new to my blog and you haven't, um, you don't know what the heck I'm talking about. But the gangsters tell you ahead of time where they're going to take the market. Here it is with the flash crash. And um, bum, 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 bum. let's go here. And let's go here. And uh, that, by the way, is the approximate level. Uh, this was done by Kirsten, a friend, and who's a fellow trader. She put the approximate level of where the market would be at when the Wilshire print is hit. So that's just to give you an idea. And I'm not saying that's going to happen, you know, this week. I'm just saying we're having a, or this next week, you know, we're just going to have a very, very big move down. But here again was the ES print. And this was shown at um, 23.45, what is that, 11.45 11 p.m. at night. They showed a low of 10.56. Let's get the other print here showing you. And so you will know that, this, that these gangsters do tell you. This was Thursday again at 11. 45 p.m. at night that was before that was Wednesday night before Thursday morning when the flash crash happened this was the fake print folks this was the real sell-off okay this was the real low right here and this was the fake print that showed up and it showed up with um, the Full stochastic saying 66666. Six, six, six. Nice little tell there to tell us that, uh, you know, all hell's going to break loose, that this is real. Um, 2 plus 3 equals 5, plus 9 equals 14. I don't know how that works out, but 
you know, maybe there's something in that number too to tell us that it's real. But certainly 1056, 5 plus 6 equals 11. That's 1111. If that didn't tell you that something was going to happen, I don't know what what would. This already happened last year. This was the May uh, May fly, flash crash, May 6 flash crash. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They could be telling people where the next flash crash is. But next week, look for all hell to break loose. Uh, here's the Illuminati.org website. Let's see if the countdown's still on there. Control A to highlight it and you hold it down. It'll highlight the days. 33 days left, folks. That's December 7th if you count it down. So they're telling you something's not going to happen on December 7th when this countdown expires. I posted this before. You have to hit Control A and hold it down on your keyboard, and you'll see this only text. It's black text on black background. That's why you don't see it. It's a timer. It's a countdown. Something big is happening. But as far as next week, uh, I promise you I'll be short tomorrow. And I don't care what other people say if they think if we're going to um, rally up to 1300 to 1340, 1320, whatever. I, I think they're totally out of their mind there. They're reading it 100% wrong. And um, that's what they want you to do. So good luck to you. Uh, you know, make your own trades. Don't do it. Use the evidence I'm presenting you here and make your own decisions. Um, I was early on, on this call here. I did not see this one. But this one, I'm going to tell you, when I thought we was going to crash here after October 28th um, with the Legatus pilgrimage and I didn't see that move up, I was not looking at the four hour chart, the two hour chart, and the 60 minute chart on the ES. I was not looking at that. So I will tell you that right now. And they, so they, and I went back and re, and re looked at them, and they did not line up and support a sell off. They did not line up to support a sell off. Now, this move still was manipulated up, don't get me wrong, because it, it really wasn't, it was just kind of iffy. If I actually go back and look at that date, on the 28th, I can do that here for you real quick. Um, let's see, on the 28th, let's see, do, 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 do. let's go to 60 days, and let's go to 60 minute chart. Okay, October the 28th, when they had this move up right here, as you can see, the charts did support, and I was not watching this, the charts did support a move up. They just didn't. That just really fooled me on how big up it was. That was that was some manipulation. But you can see right down here where we were essentially, and I will draw on that. So this this tells you the difference and how powerful the ES is. Do you see how this was right here, and how it looked like it was rolling over? You could have thought that we would have went down, but look at the cases of that happening. And you don't usually see that. You usually see when you come off of a pretty deep bottom, you usually rally up. And this this part was just ridiculous. But it should have went up here probably and went like this. You know, it's what it should have done. So, and you looked at that, and and when I went short there, thinking that that was that was it, uh, and then they just they just took out all the bears here. So, so this if I had to go back and relook at this chart. I would have probably sat on my set on the sidelines thinking that this not this did not match up yet. I would have wanted this to go a little bit higher. So let's look at this on the two hour chart and see if that supports it on the two hour chart again as well. And we will check that as well. And and yes, when you look at this on the two hour chart right down here, looky there. Same kind of scenario, folks. You can see right there, it was rolling over on the two-hour chart, and it should hook back up and, and go up, and it should have went more like that. Again, the rest of that was manipulated. What we should have done was probably went up here, maybe retested this or something, and then rolled over, but that was just a big bear squeeze. Um, so and let's look at it more importantly on the, the four-hour chart, what I feel is a very important one, and... We'll check it there as well to see if this would have lined up with my theory. And, do, do, do. and down here on the four hour chart, this move here, again, we go straight down and no, it did not perfectly line up with it. You really couldn't tell at that point. Uh, you really wanted to be up here when you were getting short. And when you were down here, you really, 
did not know whether or not it was going to continue down or not. The fact that it already had all these bars down and it was kind of hooking back up right here and, you know, moving up should have supported the theory that we should have at least went up like this. You know, maybe put in a lower high or something on, on, on these lines right here. That's what I'm looking at. This part was, you know, just got fueled by, by again, by the short squeeze. So, yeah, we should have went up and then maybe rolled over. And, uh, but I did not see that. But, I again, I was not looking at this ES chart now. And I'm telling you, I'm studying it intensely now because of not putting the pieces together previously and matching up the four-hour chart, the two-hour chart, the 60-minute chart, the daily chart, the weekly chart, the monthly chart on the ES along with the SPX. Because, again, the ES trades different hours. It trades more hours than the SPX does. It trades in other markets. So there's an after-hours market and a pre-market. You have to factor those in. To get the perfect storm, you got to get them lined up all together. And that's what we should have tomorrow morning. We should have the perfect storm. You throw in the Greece disaster, and you absolutely have the makings of uh, an absolute crash tomorrow. Or start, not necessarily tomorrow, starting tomorrow. And all into next week. All in the next week. They'll probably stage something over the weekend with the Greece. And it'll be negative. It'll be all over the news. The markets should probably gap down And on Monday. I can't see how they won't. Everything tells me they're going to just gap down and fall off a cliff. This is the special red alert uh, for you guys. And I didn't want to wait to do this on my Sunday post. I wanted to get it up to you now because I feel the importance of it that um, you guys, you know, know this information uh, so that you can make your own decisions on, on what you want to do. Uh, Cliff High, the web bot guy, um, you know, he's calling for something as well bad happening over this weekend as well. So I don't know. I haven't listened to the whole two and a half hours. That's a lot to do. i got other stuff to do, paperwork and stuff. But... But take this seriously, folks. Do your own research. Look at the charts yourself. You'll see the perfect storm. And um, good luck. I will see you on the blog tomorrow. I'll try to do a five-minute update. I will post when I get short uh, and to let you know. And then I'm just probably going to ride it out all next week. I think all hell all hell's going to break loose next week. Good luck. And sorry for such a long video. See you guys tomorrow.